One day, in the Nog TV household, our very own Dallas was trying to decide what game he wanted to play for Pac-Man Month. This is how it all went down. Ah, the good old days. You really nailed it when you played me, huh? The platforming, the puzzles. You were a classic. Always one of my favorites. Yeah, but I brought the spice. Bigger, better levels, more ghosts, and a little bit of pizzazz. Yeah, World 2, you were pretty epic. The rev roll, the butt bounce, legendary. <clears throat> Aren't you forgetting someone? What about me? Yeah, you were also a game. I had cool features too. Voice acting, dialogue, puzzles. Puzzles, more like headaches. What was up with those overly chatty NPCs anyways? Who wants to listen to Orson the whole game? And the story. Why was Pac-Man suddenly saving the world with the ghost? Nobody asked for that. It was more complex. I was trying to evolve. We needed to do something new. Kids didn't want to play us anymore. We were four adults. Look, World 3, you were fine. It's just... You were different. You didn't feel like the others. Different? That's a polite way of saying weird. Weird to be good. I had dialogue trees and combat. Voices that made no sense. Why was Pac-Man talking so much? He didn't need to do that before. I told you I was adapting. Times were changing. Didn't anyone appreciate the depth? I mean... I appreciate that you tried something new, but it just didn't hit the same, you know? So you you didn't like my combat either? Come on, who wanted Pac-Man to fight? The whole game just felt like it was having an identity crisis. Now, why were you trying to be so edgy and gritty? You weren't bad, World 3. You were just confused. Are we saving the world? Are we solving puzzles? Having an existential crisis? I just wanted to be deeper. Deeper? You were drowning in your own weird storylines. Look, World 3, you weren't all bad. You had some moments. Yeah? Sure, sure. Um, like when I finally beat you and turned off the game? <laughs> Burn. <laughs> That one stung. Fine. I get it. I'm just the weird other game that everyone wants to pretend doesn't exist. <laughs> you said it, not us. But mark my words. Mark my words. One day, I will be appreciated. People will understand my complexity, and they will appreciate my bold choices. Yep. We'll be waiting for that from right here. <laughs> hey, what's all the hubba bubba? I heard you guys are having a good old Pac-Man world reunion. Oh gosh, the rally's here. <laughs> all right, who's ready for some racing, guys? I got carts, I got drifting, I got ghosts, power-ups. I got drifting. Come on, guys, who wants to be first? Rally. This isn't Mario Kart. Doesn't matter. I've got races, but I've also got battle mini games. And if I recall, I was nice enough to include pieces from each one of you guys. Yeah, even you too, buddy. Yes, you did it, Rally. You're technically part of our series. At least they talk about you more than me. I've been in the same boat. I understand. It's nothing to be ashamed of. These cats here, I wouldn't listen to them. They think I'm just some knockoff Mario Kart, some cheap gimmicky kart racer. Are you though? Not really, no. I cannot believe this is happening. All right, guys, guys, let's get out of hand. Look, you're all Pac-Man games. You're all memorable. Even if for some of you, it might be for the wrong reasons. Tell you what. I'll go in order, and I'll play each of you to be fair. Does that sound good for everyone? 
Absolutely. Works for me. You'll play us good games first, so then you can pick apart what World 3 and Rally did bad. Why does nobody like me? At least I get to go fast. That doesn't really help. But what would help is if you click this playlist right up here to check out all the Pac-Man videos that Dallas made for each of these mentioned Pac-Man games. And he even threw in Pac-Man Fever, but he didn't catch an invite today. Who are you, Who are you talking, talking to? to?